in this video we're going to be showing you a cost um like a cheap way how to um like um track down your your vintage or your like old-fashioned car in in the apple store Um, we just bought our air tag and so so that we can track out um Rover P480 and we're gonna hide it somewhere in the car so nobody knows where it is. So the Apple Air Tag basically means that you're crowdsourcing through every single iPhone out there. If your classic car gets stolen, um, your air tag basically pings every iPhone and will help you track down who stole your car and where it is so it's a really cost effective solution because you just put it in there the battery lasts a year hide it somewhere in your car that will take them a long time to find and you've got a tracking solution okay so i'm going to open up the air tag now there's a little arrow tab and it's just 45 dollars from the apple store you can get a family pack if you've got lots of things you want to track. I just want to track the, the old Rover. So that's what I'm going to be using this for primarily. Okay, so inside, let's pull this out. This has AirTag. Opens up. And it's just the tag. It doesn't come with a... Um, a lanyard or a case on here and it basically just tells you the instructions it has this little plastic over it and just like in many things you'll see with these um, lithium batteries inside you've got to pull a release tab to start the battery so when you unbox it for the first time the plastic's actually holding in a little battery tab and it's not until you pull that that this activates and then I'm going to go for the process of pairing it with my phone I'm just gonna pull that out. And now it's activated and it makes a noise. One thing to note when you first turn this on, the AirTag actually requires your iPhone to have iOS 14.5.1 to work with the air tag and if you don't have it your phone will actually alert you that the tag won't work until you do a ios update 